Welcome to a behind the scenes look and course demonstration of Sporty's 2021 Learn to Fly course. I am your co-host, Eric Radke, and I lead the educational team at Sporty's very busy, very active flight school just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio, Sporty's Academy, sportiesacademy.com. What that means to you is number one, I have the privilege, the pleasure of speaking to a lot of pilots day in and day out, just like you. Some are considering pilot training, many are in pilot training, some have completed pilot training, some are evaluating a home study course. So hopefully from that experience, I can share with you a lot of great insights and answer uh, some of the most commonly asked questions that we see. My colleague and fellow CFI joining us today is Brett Kobe, who leads our course development team at Sporty. So between the two of us, again, um, we talk to a lot of pilots just like you, and hopefully we'll give you a lot of great insights into the use of a home study course in general, and more specifically, especially if you're considering Sporties or are already a course user, um, some tips to kind of make you a power user and make sure you're taking advantage of all the latest and greatest that we have to offer. So if you are one in that category that you're just considering a home study course, um, let me uh, you know, start with the best tip um, of this learning experience today, and that is a home study course, certainly in my opinion, is gonna be the best investment you can make in your pilot training. And it's not just me saying that, um, that's certainly uh, you know, a highly uh, respected and regarded premise across the flight training industry. Uh, we know that scientifically. We know it through research. We know it from talking to pilots. We know it from talking to instructors. What a home study course does in a big picture sense, it gives you a structure. Uh, it gives you something to work from. It gives you a focal point. It gives you a very consistent, level-headed, standardized, expert voice uh, in all of your pilot training, and not just ground school. Although we, you know, routinely, you know, use the you know as cinema, synonyms the home study course and ground school and absolutely you can think of a home study course as kind of a modern day ground school substitute but it's so much more than that so it's absolutely that but it's so much more than that so what it's going to do for you and why it is the best investment you can make in your pilot training course it's going to that through the media of video um, through dynamic 3d illustrations animations we are going to bring uh, complex uh, topics and concepts to life um, in, in video. We're gonna reinforce that with text, with questions, with interactivity, all those things. And it's certainly not a, is not a one size fits all. What's great about a system like Sporty's Learn to Fly course is there's this robust set of features, but it's sizable. Um, it can be customized to the way you like to learn and to your individual learning experience. What that translates to is saving you ultimately time and money. And those are always the top two questions uh, from prospective pilots. How much time, how much money? Well, the answer to that is you are in control of your own destiny. And we're not just gonna leave you with abstract concepts today. We're gonna talk to you about how do you turn that into action and one of these is this investment, and not just investing in a course if you're already a user and letting it sit there, but actually using all the tools to your advantage. Um, and also a common misconception out there is that if you're working with an instructor or a flight school that might have his own syllabus or a commercially provided syllabus, what's great about a system like Sporties it works with everything. So while we have a syllabus, which is what you would use with your instructor in the airplane, it's certainly expandable and can be integrated with any syllabus at any flight school. And we do that through great indexing, the ability to universally search concepts and a great table of content. Uh, so you can take concepts that are coming up in an upcoming flight lesson and you can find that content within the course. So a little bit of a map of where we're headed today, important to know where we're going to. We're gonna talk with uh, how to get started. Again, one of the first questions we get with uh, existing course users, uh, what is my kind of quick start guide to using the available features? We're gonna talk about all the great platforms that the 2021 Learn to Fly course is available on, give you a demo and some tips uh, for the core video-based training as well as the 
test prep functionality, and then also get you started as you perhaps transition out of ground school or study mode into the airplane and along the way mix in some of those advanced features. So to get started in three easy steps, start with the core video-based trainings. Once you log in, you're gonna see the video-based training menu option, uh, upper left, very prominent. The way it's outlined, it's outlined in a very logical manner, exactly how you would typically uh, be progressing at any given flight school with any flight instructor. So number one, start to finish, watch the video-based training. There's gonna be some segments that you wish to view and review, and that's great, uh, but certainly start to finish is gonna build a wonderful foundation, give you very good perspective. And then after you've been through it, you'll start to learn some of those concepts that you may wish to revisit. Now, along the way, as you're progressing through the video-based training, you're gonna see in most video segments, you're gonna have the option to take a video review quiz. So this is kind of your first assessment piece to gauge how you're grasping certain concepts. And that will begin to help you identify topics that you wish to revisit. Now, um, a, a kind of a point to make in these review quizzes is this: these review quizzes tie directly back to the video-based content you just consumed. So those are the concepts we're trying to test. Those are the concepts we're trying to reinforce. And then throughout, you will also see in these various segments, video review notes, as well as the option to uh, get a complete transcript. So again, if your learning style is more text-based, Transcript is a, a great option for anyone going through this course. The video review notes, in my opinion, are an excellent resource to just recap, to summarize, to highlight those key takeaways or topics from those individual segments. Next, after you've completed the video training from start to finish, transition into the test prep mode. And it's kind of laid out in that left margin menu exactly how we would expect that you might proceed through this course. You're gonna see two primary menu options in the test prep. One is going to be study sessions, the other is going to be FAA practice test. So we recommend starting with study sessions. Now study sessions give you the option to either start with a random collection of questions that are gonna cover all the topics, or you can select individual topics. Your first time through, we recommend starting with those random sessions, several random sessions, as a matter of fact, to get you started. And you can also make some decisions on how many questions um, you wish to generate in these individual sessions. By establishing this history with some of these study sessions, our systems, the Sporty's platform, is smart enough to begin to identify and recognize those subject areas that are going to require more time. So from an efficiency standpoint, you'll spend less time on topics you have mastered and more and more time on the weaker subject areas. Just makes for a richer, smarter, uh, more efficient um, study session, uh, training, uh, overall training experience. Once you've completed these study sessions, several of these study sessions, then try your hand at some of these individual uh, practice tests. And those are gonna be set up just like the real thing with a timer, with a random mix of questions. And again, as you um, build up some history in the test session, um, you'll also be able to take advantage of these smart features of the Sporty's Learning Management System. And you can in the future begin to generate test sessions just based on either weaker topic areas or questions that you've missed. So again, to kind of reiterate, it's important to develop some initial history, both in the study session mode as well as the testing session mode uh, for a really efficient learning experience. Now the Sporty's Learn to Fly platform also gives you the option to actually receive your endorsement to take the actual FAA written examination. And the way you go about doing that is following those uh, first two quick steps we just discussed, completing all of the video-based training and then at least two practice tests with a minimum 80% score. And we know historically, we know these Sporty's uh, course users are performing at an exceptionally high rate, both on initial pass rates and, and both on individuals testing scores. So again, this is a proven system. Follow those quick steps and you're gonna be a top performer. Um, 
if that wasn't enough in terms of the value proposition, um, you do get for one price access to five formats. So um, sporties.com slash my courses is that general course portal where all of the access to your sporty courses is available. And this gets you into the online streaming, which is kind of the foundation. That's the main delivery point. But you also have access for, again, that one price. If you're an iOS, uh, iPad, iPhone user, you do have access to the dedicated Sporties pilot training app available in the App Store. For you Android users, you also have it available via Google Play. And if you're going to be using these platforms, the mobile devices exclusively, the app makes a lot of sense. It's going to be a little bit richer experience. It, it's designed specifically for that platform. However, the baseline online version is mobile friendly. So as long as you have internet access, you can open up your web browser on even your mobile device, laptop, desktop, whatever the case may be, and you can access the course. Apple TV users, absolutely, we haven't forgotten about you. You also have access to the dedicated Sportis, Sportis Pilot training app for Apple TV, Roku TV. Um, very popular right now with this great video quality to be uh, consuming this content on your big screen TV. A great way to get the whole family involved or your entire uh, support network involved is watching it on your big screen TV. And we even have support for Chromecast. If you want to move between platforms, I'm sure that's a question that probably just came to mind. Yes, absolutely. That's some of the magic. Um, that's the Sporty's way behind the scenes. We're able to sync up all that progress. So if you're at home and you want to watch it on your big screen TV, on your Roku device, absolutely do that. You can come back to your iPad or iPhone the next day, lunch break, uh, just before your next session with your flight instructor, and you can pick up right where you left off in any of those platforms. Now to recap. Uh, five formats, one price. Hope that wasn't confusing. What do you want to gravitate toward? Well, it just kind of depends uh, predominantly on, you know, some personal feelings or, or personal leanings, but also maybe the, the device. So the online platform is certainly um, was first. It's most universal. Uh, the mobile platform, great for being on the go. The mobile platforms also allow you to uh, download content uh, for offline viewing. Great if you're taking an airline flight or if you're going to be off grid for a little bit, you can download individual segments um, and still continue to learn and continue to consume content. And continuity is key. And that's again back to the why invest in a home study course in the first place. We talked about structure, we talked about focus. This is part of that continuity of training. Even if you can't get to the airport, even if the weather's bad, you can always be learning and investing. And again, those TV formats, great for a quiet evening at home, great for getting the whole family involved. And with that, we're gonna dive in and do a bit of a live demonstration and talk about some of these features and let you see some of these features uh, firsthand with my colleague, uh, Brett Kobe. Thanks, Eric. Okay, so what I have here is a web browser. Uh, we're gonna do this demonstration on the online course, um, but I wanna re emphasize a point Eric made. Uh, again, with all the platforms, it can be intimidating when you first get into this uh, because there are many options on the uh, smartphones, uh, uh, iPad, Android tablets, Apple TV, et cetera. I think initially just get into the online course and get comfortable with this platform and familiarize yourself with what's available here. And I think as you start to get into the video training and the test prep components, then it's a good time to start to experiment with some of the other options if you have or own one of those devices. Uh, and then I think you'll start to feel uh, what's most comfortable. Um, I see people go through the entire course online start to finish. I've also worked with students who have used it on their iPhone start to finish on the smaller screen. And that really is just a personal preference. And what I'm seeing more and more students doing also is using a combination, uh, even in the same session, maybe watching videos online here in the web browser, uh, but then have their iPad up alongside of it, either with test prep or maybe using the document viewer uh, to say to have an uh, FAA handbook handy, like the airplane flying handbook. Uh, so get creative also, uh, because there really are no limits in terms of you as one user, um, how many devices you can, you can use for your personal account. Uh, so feel free to bring your iPhone or iPad along side by side. All the content stays up to date and is, is regularly updated on all, on all the platforms. So in this case, we're going to jump into the Learn to Fly course. Uh, I call this the My Courses portal. It's what you'll first see when you log in. 
And that brings us to the Learn to Fly course home screen. And this is in essence a dashboard. Uh, it's a dynamic screen that's going to change as you progress through the course. Uh, at the top up here is a welcome message. Um, and keep an eye on that. It's gonna give you some guidance uh, in the blue section here about what you should be doing essentially. Um, and as Eric mentioned, the very first step as you get into the course is to complete the video training start to finish about 15 hours. Um, the nice thing is, as you'll see as we get into this, it's broken up into bite-sized segments that range from three to 10 minutes. So we're not sitting down and watching feature length films by any means. You can get into your training for five, 10 minutes if that's all the time you have and continue on with it. So while it'd be nice to dedicate a good chunk of time in your training sessions, don't feel like you need to. If you just need to get in and wanna watch a little bit here and there, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, we have a badge system. You'll see in the blue section here, uh, achievements, if you wanna think of it that way, that will kind of guide you through to watching the video training, completing those uh, two practice tests of 80% or higher uh, up to the final point of earning your uh, FA knowledge test endorsement. Uh, so keep an eye on those as you progress through your training. To make it easy, uh, the first thing you'll see is the next video training in the sequence. It'll uh, change here in this view, uh, the start video training view. Uh, so you're able to click on that and jump right into the next video uh, each time you log back into your course. We also include getting started guides. Uh, feel free to peruse those uh, on your own time, uh, but those will help you again reinforce some of the topics and training guidance we're giving today and how to use the course. Uh, if again, if you want to go back and read that later on. Um, also, as you progress through the course, you'll see these uh, areas change uh, throughout on this home screen. Uh, so right now we're encouraging the student, uh, as I'm demoing here, to jump into the FAA library to supplement the video training. Uh, as you progress, it'll provide guidance on test prep, check ride prep, et cetera, and then how to complete the endorsement. Um, so a good way here to kind of stay in a path uh, to complete the course from start to finish. What I'm gonna do though is jump out over here to the left-hand menu. Uh, underneath private pilot. And this is the menu Eric mentioned earlier of how to get to each component of the course. Uh, so again, <clears throat> video training is where you're gonna start. So that's at the top. <clears throat> then we have test prep. We'll get into that here in a minute and I'll show you what that looks like. A flight maneuvers guide, course resources, FA handbooks. And then lastly, as you prepare for the check ride, a dedicated section there. Always in view on the left-hand side is your progress. Uh, so video progress here shown from zero to 100% pretty self-explanatory to build all the way up to the 100% point. Our two big milestones in terms of test prep are this 80% test prep scores. So we're able to see here when we hit those milestones uh, and the sample user I have set up, uh, have completed the test over 80% uh, percent, showing here as an 88%. So a good way to keep that kind of goal in mind at all times as you work towards uh, work through the course. And then lastly, the knowledge test endorsements. When you finish the course, that will be enabled. That will allow you to request your FA knowledge test endorsement 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, so if you complete your course on a Sunday night at two, uh, Sunday morning, two in the morning, uh, as soon as you complete the course, that'll be ready and active and that will be sent to you immediately. Uh, so no need to wait for any kind of business day requirements. Um, it's all automated from the course itself when you meet those requirements. It'll also provide you with FA wings credit uh, when you complete the course, as well as a record of training uh, you can take along to maybe a flight school, university, flight instructor uh, that, that may want to see what you actually completed in the course. Uh, so that's all there automated as well. I'll come back to this shortly, the connect section, because uh, I want to get to some of the core features in the video training section first. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll use the uh, start video training, which is the next uh, next segment to watch here. And that will load our standard video player view. Uh, and simple matter, just like most of us are accustomed to, to hit the play button and the video will begin playing. A couple of things on the controls I'll point out. Uh, there's uh, fast forward 30 seconds, rewind 10 seconds, uh, similar controls to most multimedia players online and on mobile platforms. You can jump ahead at any point in the video with the slider here. You can also adjust the time. Uh, I know different learning styles I've seen and heard from students that like to watch the video slower. So you can slow the speed by half. You can also speed it up to two times speed, uh, which you may find helpful during final review uh, phases of, the, of your training to speed up the video and uh, consume it that way uh, and still make out the audio, but get through it much much more quickly to, to catch those key points. As you can see on the screen, we also have subtitles if English is not your first language or you prefer to view the subtitles as you go about the training. What you'll also see here on the player, which I don't have currently, but if you have an Apple TV on your same Wi-Fi network, you can send the video right to your Apple TV from the online course. 
and the same thing applies to Chromecast. Uh, so if you have a Chromecast player, you can cast the video right to either of those TV uh, devices in your uh, home network. Now, as Eric mentioned, we have section notes for every single video. Um, and what I would recommend after watching a video, especially some of the more complicated sections or, or new training topics, after watching it, go ahead and peruse the video notes. It's gonna have the key takeaways from that section. Uh, so there's a lot of information in, 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 throughout your training, and this can be a great way to distill that into what the key takeaways are uh, for that lesson. Even further after that, the review quiz uh, allows you to cover the key uh, training topics and, and points from that video. Uh, a key point I want to make here, uh, because our, our video training is designed to be preparing you for the test as well as real world flying, these questions here are not the actual test prep questions. These are designed to cover the video content, which, which really goes much further and much more beyond the scope of test prep. Um, so these are gonna be practical, uh, real world type questions related to the video training content. Um, so this is meant to reinforce the videos, not be a test prep component. Uh, and I, I make that key distinction because we have the dedicated test prep section uh, over here on the other side of the screen, which we'll jump into later. Now, because these are the kind of real world, very um, scenario based training questions, each one of these is tied to the video. So if you have a question, say answer one incorrectly uh, after the, uh, the quiz here, you can use this play explanation button and that will jump right to the point in the video that covers that training uh, topic. Uh, so visibility, presence of local thunderstorms for this answer, play explanation. You can see here it jumped right to the segment. Uh, so that's a great way as you review also, uh, in addition to the section notes, that you can jump back to a point in the video to cover the content that, that relates to that question. And then lastly, the transcript. Again, a great tool if you're more of a, of a, a visual, or not a visual, but would prefer to read the content uh, in addition to the visual learning experience uh, to go about it that way. As we go back to the main section, you'll see a green check mark here after you complete each video segment. And again, my recommendation is just to go through, as well as sporties, the videos to start to finish uh, right in order. And we purposely designed this to not all focus on one particular training topic all at once. So you're not gonna see hours and hours of weather followed by hours and hours of system. Um, we kind of bounce around a little bit and that's intentional. Uh, it's, a, it's a building block approach with the fundamental training topics starting at the beginning, um, but it's gonna help keep your engagement there. Uh, you're gonna hit the core topics like aircraft instruments, aircraft engines, four fundamentals of flight, uh, how to pre-flight, building on each element, um, but you're not gonna focus on one particular area uh, for a long amount of time, uh, which I think is very, very good for the learning experience as you work through your, your training. Uh, so that was one chapter, if you want to call it that. So you can see in chapter one here, there are 26 segments. Chapter two is 15, chapter three is 25, uh, building all the way up to your private pilot test. And that's obviously where you're going to find your more uh, in-depth and more advanced training topics in the final chapter there. So again, the goal is to work through that all start to finish. Next down the list here in the main menu, we're looking at test prep. As Eric mentioned, there's two kind of main study uh, modes in mind, a uh, study session where you're gonna get real-time feedback as you answer each question, and then a simulated FAA practice test of 60 questions in the same time limit as you'd find on the actual FAA test with a good uh, scenario of mixed questions just like you'd find on the test with uh, various categories. The place you wanna start though is the start new study sessions. And we mentioned the random question option. It's the second one here on the list, so you can select that if you'd like, uh, select that mode. And then there's actually two different modes of how you can study. Um, we're gonna focus on question mode for the demo here, and we'll go ahead and start this session. We picked 50 uh, questions for this. You can choose, I think, as few as five up to 200. Uh, so maybe you're on a commute on a train or um, in an Uber, and you just wanna pull out your phone and study some test questions, you can grab five or 10 questions and, and go right from there uh, to, to make use of your time on your smartphone or Android phone, wherever you might be. Okay, so on the left-hand side is our list of questions for the session. You can navigate that up and down. When I select an answer, it's gonna tell me right away using a, both color and text if I have the correct answer. In this case, it was correct. You're also gonna see a written explanation for each answer as well as references. So the goal here when test prep is to actually learn the material. And that's why we designed this with a robust amount of explanation and support material with each question. Uh, and if you think about it, we have over probably a thousand questions in our database 
and every question has three answers and every answer has an explanation and a reference. Uh, so the goal here is to, to not just kind of rush through these and, and try to remember keywords or key numbers um, because these are representative questions on the FAA test. The, the FAA does not publish the exact test questions anymore. Um, so the best we can do in any training provider, and we keep up with the sample tests put out and talk to students all the time and continuously update this weekly uh, with new test prep questions, answers, et cetera. But your goal here is to learn the material. Um, so read the question, choose the best answer, but then really spend some time reading the explanation. Uh, some are gonna make sense right away and be pretty obvious. Some you're gonna have questions on, and that's why we have those explanations and references. So click any of those to open up a new tab uh, directly to that FAA resource. If a question has a figure, let's see if we can find one of those. Uh, you'll see a view figure button here. Just click on that and that'll load the referenced figure uh, right in the, in the view here. You can also enlarge it in a new tab if you'd like uh, to make it even bigger. I know some students like to print these out, especially the ones that you have to do a plotter uh, to measure a course or a distance on a chart. You also have the option right here, download all figures. You can download the entire supplement book, the same one you'll see at the FAA testing center. Again, some pilots like to uh, download that and just have it handy at all times. And again, you can print it out easily from the PDF format. Now, every time you answer a question, your progress is automatically saved. Uh, so if for some reason your browser crashes, your computer crashes, uh, don't worry, your progress is gonna be saved as soon as you uh, make any answer choices. I'll point out this little windsock right here. That'll mark a question uh, over here on the side. You can see the windsock changes color there. And what that allows you to do is to come back and reference that question later. Uh, so at any point, no matter what, if you find a question or an answer, whatever it might be that doesn't seem, uh, or you don't feel completely comfortable with, uh, mark that question. You can return to it later. Uh, you can return to it with your instructor, however you wanna go about it. Um, you can also take advantage of our Ask a CFI service, which I'll mention and show you here shortly. Um, but use that mark feature, because it's a great way to kind of bookmark a question to come back and learn more about that later. So I'm gonna quit this session. And what you'll see here in the study history, um, so we're still on the main test prep home screen, is that that session here, got the in-progress uh, badge. That was our session we just started. So I can come back here at any time and resume that later on. Uh, a great way to start and stop if you build a big session. Now for completed sessions, you can see I have two here, a random question session and an FAA practice test. If I press this plus button next to random questions, it's gonna give you a little more analysis on how you performed in that session, including a broad category breakdown of how you answered each of the categories or questions related to each of those categories on a percentage basis. And even more powerful down here, you can create a new session based on that session. Uh, lots of flexibility. So I can start a new session based on the questions I answered correctly. I think more useful is a session based on the questions answered incorrectly. I know I use that a lot during my training uh, all the way from, from private up through ATP. I always like to go back and study and, and no matter what kind of session it was, but take a new set based on answered uh, questions uh, that were answered incorrectly. You can see here, we can go back to marked questions in that session, so very helpful, or just do that entire session again. Uh, so lots of options here as you go about your, your sessions. Uh, here's an example of a completed FAA practice test. And again, same thing, you'll see the same uh, options here at the bottom. And I think what's really helpful as you complete practice tests is to always go back and look at the questions you answered incorrectly and go ahead and take another session for those just to kind of reinforce and maybe again re read the explanations a little more closely and the references to help better understand that question. Okay, I'm going to go back to start a new study session, uh, just a little bit more here in the test prep component. So I want to point out each of the sessions and why you might want to use them. Um, so I'm going to jump into specific categories, the very top option and show you some more useful features here uh, as you get into it. So we'll do, actually we'll do flashcard mode. So I'll give you a quick demo of what flashcard mode looks like and why you may want to use it. <clears throat> so again, our database has over a thousand questions, um, but what's nice is you start to zero in on topics that you want to cover on your own. You'll see that there is one, two, three, four, five, six main categories. Each category has a set of subcategories. Uh, with questions counts ranging from, I think, 10 to maybe 100 or so uh, based on that category. So you can zero in on and just study one specific category, uh, which I would recommend doing as you progress through, through your training and start to build up some knowledge test prep history. But to help you even zero in further, we include some analysis tools here. 
that show you how you performed on various categories. Uh, so let's drill down a little further <clears throat> into airplane systems. And you can see here this flight controls category. Uh, in my last session, I only got 50% of the flight control uh, questions answered correctly. So for me personally, if I were studying right now, that might be a good cue that I should spend a little more time in that section and, and go ahead and build up a new study category uh, session based on that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We just selected flight controls. So we're gonna have a session now built with 13 questions as it shows in the list. And we'll hit start. So now we're in flashcard mode. Um, again, I mentioned there's two different kind of study modes. Uh, in that traditional question study mode, it's gonna show us the three answer choices. But again, the, our kind of philosophy in, in Sporties in general is not to just do rote memorization. So what flashcard mode allows you to do is just view the question. You can see a kind of a flashcard uh, style here interface. And when I click the card, it's gonna show me just the answer, just the correct answer and the explanation for that. So it allows you to study the questions without ever seeing the incorrect uh, answers uh, to distract you. But it also allows you to go through and kind of think uh, mentally of the answer before you actually see it, not be distracted by incorrect uh, answers. Same thing, each question has the answer here, an explanation, and then below the card is the reference. So this uh, reference here is the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, Chapter 6. If I click on that link, it's going to open that resource right up here in the, the web, web browser. Uh, so great way to dive in deeper into each question. What you can use, uh, it's up to you, but you can use the mark correct or incorrect uh, buttons here. That'll grade your session. So if you want to keep your own kind of score, your own tally of how you're doing, uh, you can go through and use these buttons here. Um, it's a self-study method. It's all honesty, uh, but it's a good way if, if you feel comfortable uh, going through and identifying again those incorrect questions that you've answered. <clears throat> More importantly, because it's going to help build up your analytics and your study history uh, in your own course that allows you to kind of have some of these smart study features that the course offers. So let's take a look at that next. I'm going to jump back into start new study session. The last one I want to point out here is the smart study option. This is a great tool once again you've maybe done 10, 15 sessions. Very simple from the user standpoint, select smart study. Choose how many questions you want in that session. We'll do 50. And what this is going to do now is build a session of questions that you've answered incorrectly, routinely, or even a few times, as well as categories that are on your weaker list of all the different categories offered in the course. Um, so when you say, hey, I just want to focus on my weaknesses without thinking through the analytics, without looking at charts, just go right to Smart Study, create a session, and jump right in. So that's test prep. And as you can see, there's a lot of features there, a lot of uh, ways to go about that. Uh, it can be a little intimidating at first, um, but follow that flow of, of using random sessions and studying specific categories and start to identify your uh, weaknesses and your strong points and then kind of go from there. And then as you're ready, uh, and once you get some sessions under your belt, go ahead and start to begin taking an FAA practice test. And that's going to help you judge your readiness for the test. Uh, again, your goal there is to get to practice test scores of 80% or higher. Now, when it comes into the flight training, uh, a complement to the video training is a dedicated flight maneuvers guide. Uh, so as you begin your training, <clears throat> you're gonna start off with the basics like a normal takeoff, uh, the four fundamentals of flight, being able to climb, descend, hold altitude, make turns, that kind of thing. But then you're gonna build into some of the more uh, advanced maneuvers like uh, slow flight, power on, power off stalls, performance landings. And your instructor is gonna talk with you ahead of time and say, okay, here's what's on the next lesson. Uh, here's what we're going to do. And you might have three or four different maneuvers you're going to cover. Uh, let's say, for example, your next uh, lesson is going to cover slow flight. So what you can do is come down. You can see lesson number or uh, maneuver number 18 here, slow flight. Go ahead and load that up. And what this is is an animated 3D maneuver. I'll jump ahead. It's going to illustrate from an outside perspective along with step-by-step -step instructions how to accomplish that maneuver. So you can do a little bit of armchair flying at home um, by thinking about the power of the flight controls. As you can see the instructions on the screen there on how to go about completing that maneuver. From a visual, uh, it's, and these are also narrated, so you'll hear narrated instructions to go with each one. And just like with the videos, after you watch the presentation, come down here to the actual guide. And this is going to walk you through in very detail, right down to power settings, altitudes, air speeds. Uh, airplane configuration, whether it's flaps or landing gear, all the different elements uh, for the common training airplanes, how to accomplish that maneuver. 
Um, and as you can start to see here, as you study these in advance, it's not going to seem as foreign for the, for the very first time in the airplane. You're going to feel comfortable because you're going to have some kind of general uh, background training on how to complete these maneuvers. Um, uh, trust me, as an instructor, if I have a student that has gone through this, it makes my life much easier in the airplane. The student's more comfortable. Uh, there's less back and forth instruction in, in the airplane because the student's already aware of how to go about doing this, and they can really focus on fine tuning the maneuver. And so again, that key theme of saving time and money really comes through again here uh, in the flight training aspect by combining the video training with this flight maneuvers guide. Jumping over back to the menu, we'll go to the resources section. And now these are PDFs, uh, essentially different aspects that you can work with your instructor or you personally, um, a selection of different items that will uh, be relevant at different parts of your training, uh, like a pre-solo exam that you can work with your instructor on as you get ready for your first solo. If your flight school or your instructor does not use a syllabus or just uses uh, their own syllabus, um, you also have the option of our Sporties Academy flight training syllabus, uh, which we call our training course outline, another uh, PDF document here, which will guide you step-by-step step from lesson one all the way up through the check ride to provide some structure to your training. The private study guide here is a PDF, several hundred pages of every single video re review note from the video training section. So if you'd rather have that all in one document, a great place for that. The flight training, uh, flight sim guide, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator came out last year, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, which created a lot of buzz in that community. And also we have X-Plane uh, out there as well as a popular flight uh, simulator. And it's been proven that, that a home flight sim when used correctly and used uh, the right way can really help you prepare for your flight training lessons. So we developed this flight sim guide here to help correspond uh, with your training uh, and set you up to fly maneuvers at home in your flight simulator. Give you a guide on how to uh, set the airplane, configure it, what altitude to go to, and then what to accomplish. Next resource here on the left-hand side is the FAA handbooks. Um, consider all this supplemental training. Um, by no means do we recommend any student go through and just read every book. Uh, that's counterproductive and, and not a good use of time. That's why we created the video training, was to bring all these elements to life in a much more engaging format. But it's inevitable there's going to be some topics that just don't click or you want to know more about it. Uh, so you can come over here uh, to the FA handbook section. Very well organized and easy to use uh, resource. So let's say, for example, you want to learn a little bit more about airspace or you want to read more about airspace. Um, so I can come here to the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. It's going to bring this book up, and you can see it's 524 pages. So definitely not uh, not good reading material start to finish. Uh, Way of an Outline, so a very powerful PDF uh, digital book reader broken down by each uh, element of the book. Go over here to Airspace, and then that's probably a 20 or 30 page chapter on Airspace. And you can dive in and, and kind of read more about some details if you have questions. Also point out that all the PDFs and all the digital books here have a search function, uh, which is very, very fast. So if I'm coming in here and I want to learn more about how airplane flaps work, I can type in the word flaps. It's gonna go ahead and search that PDF. and bring up all the areas that, that are covered, uh, cover flaps, for example, is a very high high level topic. And you can jump around to learn more about that component on each page that flaps are mentioned. Um, so use that search feature. I think you'll find it pretty powerful. Obviously a more narrowed in search term will uh, yield more specific results and, and better results there. The last thing I'll point out on the FA handbooks and resources back here is you can also upload your own documents. So at the bottom here is the My Document section, and this is a great way to maybe keep track of your airplane flying, or your airplane's uh, pilot's operating handbook, your aircraft flight manual, uh, checklist, avionics handbooks, any kind of training elements that really relate to you in your flight school that are unique to you is a great way to put them in here. They'll be stored online, and they'll be loaded in that same nice digital uh, book re uh, reader that we have here. And you can come through and same thing, you can search it. So if you have your Cessna manual, you can search for key systems topics or limitations, et cetera. Um, but a great way to keep your own training content organized in your course. Okay, at the very bottom of the menu, we have check ride prep. As you'd imagine, it's the last phase of your training. After you've completed all the flight requirements, the ground training requirements, you've passed your knowledge test, uh, this is the place to come. Uh, so the actual flight test, uh, or we call it the practical test with an FAA examiner or designated pilot examiner. 
has a oral portion where they're gonna ask you questions and a conversational type uh, set up on the ground. And then you have the actual flight test. To help you get ready for the uh, oral portion of the flight test, the practical test, we have check ride prep flashcards. And you can see here, it's a similar layout to the test prep with the different uh, mode options for how to study. You can pick specific categories. Uh, so let's pick uh, everybody's favorites, uh, airworthiness requirements. You're definitely gonna get questions like these uh, from your examiner. And basically it's gonna go through with questions, the same ones you're likely to hear right from the examiner. So what documents must be on board the aircraft before we fly? You see the question on the flashcard, you tap it to see the answer. Uh, so a great way to mentally go through each of the questions that you're likely to see on the check ride. And this is something that we created here from scratch at Sporties. Uh, we worked with several uh, designated pilot examiners here in Ohio, worked with the FAA to kind of get a feel for their uh, questioning and what they like to cover, as well as airman certification standards, which is the, really the standard of, of what you're being tested on during the flight test to build a very comprehensive, uh, robust tool here. And I can almost guarantee if you go through this and you feel comfortable with these questions, uh, you're gonna blow away your examiner and that's gonna be a very uh, uneventful portion of your check ride. So highly recommend using this tool as you get to that, that point in the training. And what you're gonna find too, by going through this course uh, between the video training and the test prep, uh, you're gonna already know this material pretty much like the back of your hand. So it's kind of a good way just to reinforce what you already know and maybe identify a couple uh, weaker areas that you just wanna brush up on getting ready for the check ride. There's a video here, FA check ride and tips produced, uh, we produced with a designated pilot examiner to get you ready for the actual flight test as well. Things they're looking for and things like how to incorporate your iPad or uh, how to bring technology to the check ride. Some of those common questions that may not be covered in traditional FAA resource uh, resources. There's a checklist here that's very helpful for getting all your uh, flight time organized, all your uh, resources organized, the things that you wanna bring to the check ride. Uh, there. And then last but not least is the interactive airman certification standards. And while this is in the check ride prep section, I will point out this is probably the one area you may want to jump into a, uh, sooner than just before the check ride. Uh, the airman certification standards are the basically the guidelines for what you need to know and what's covered on both the knowledge test and the flight test. Um, and so what we've done here is made this a little more interesting than just a big uh, book of text. Each one of these represents the areas of operation. As you can see, it kind of builds from pre-flight up to takeoffs and landings, flight maneuvers, navigation, uh, emergencies. But you can jump in here and read each of the tasks that are gonna be required on the check ride. Uh, so in this case, we're looking at steep turns. You can use this drop-down menu to switch to another task, uh, ground reference maneuvers. And if you want, we take this one step further and have related each video that corresponds to that task here in this menu. Uh, so if we're studying ground reference maneuvers or preparing for that for the check ride, I can jump right in and play any one of those videos uh, to learn more about that topic. So it's all the same video training content, just reorganized and re-referenced uh, to this FAA resource. All right, last thing I'll point out, um, again, is the video training kind of works. Again, we mentioned you're going to go through this start to finish in, in a linear fashion. Um, but as I mentioned in the FAA handbooks, you may want to search for a specific topic. Uh, you also have that ability in the video training with this search uh, button up here next to the sign out button. Uh, so you can press that search button. Uh, we can type in anything. Let's type in ADSB, which is the new transponder technology. And you can jump right to a section covering that topic. So if you're either preparing for the check ride or preparing for your next flight lesson, let's say the next lesson is going to cover VORs, uh, type in that term. You can see right here, the next uh, chapter on VOR navigation pops up and that'll take you right to that video training segment. Uh, so another kind of self-guided way to study and, and launch video training. Uh, a couple other kind of hidden elements, or not hidden, but kind of, you know, power user type features. In the progress section here, we have a share button. If I click the share, I can use the share my progress feature and this will send an email to your flight instructor, your aviation mentor, whoever it might be. Um, they'll be able to see your video progress as well as your performance on test prep sessions. Uh, so maybe in the early phases, there are some questions or sessions that you just didn't feel comfortable with and you'd rather review those with your instructor. It's a great way to, to link that up to that person uh, and they can pull it up on their computer and look at it uh, and look at it with you uh, to review your, your status and get you ready. I mentioned earlier, and we'll conclude with this for the demo, uh, we have a connect section here at the bottom left. Uh, we have worked with both Cloud Ahoy and ForeFlight 
uh, to connect your flight training course to those products. Uh, so if you're a Cloud Ahoy user, this allows you, and what Cloud Ahoy is, is, uh, is an app, a uh, really powerful app that when you have it installed on your iPad or your iPhone, actually tracks your flights and it can analyze your flight maneuvers. Um, so if you just hit basically record, go ahead and set it to the side or set it on the back seat, it'll record your entire flight path. Uh, so if you're doing steep turns, it'll actually show you where you've done steep turns on the GPS map, uh, analyze them, and it'll help you determine if you're within altitude limits, for example. But if you use the Cloud Ahoy app, you can connect your account here and all your training flights will show up here uh, in the Cloud Ahoy section. Um, it'll even, <clears throat> because it does the automatic analysis of your flight maneuvers, uh, it'll show each of those in this section and play the re uh, respective video training content to that. So a great way to link up, again, your, your actual flight training with the video segments. Completely optional, um, and, and it's, it's really more of a power user type feature, uh, but a good way to connect those two uh, platforms if you are using it. As far as ForeFlight goes, uh, today pilots are using ForeFlight for their digital logbook. Uh, paper logbooks uh, maybe aren't as, as prevalent as they once were when I started flying. Um, but your logbook is also the place where you store a lot of your endorsements uh, from both your flight instructor and, in this case, from the Sporties course. Um, so after you earn your knowledge test prep endorsement uh, from the private course or the instrument rating course or commercial course, if that's what you're in, you can send your knowledge test endorsement right to your four flight logbook to keep that all organized. Uh, and you can take that then to the testing center that's time. Uh, or the more traditional route as well is to print that endorsement off and take it to the testing facility. Uh, but everything's moving digital uh, these days as well as the logbook. So it's a way to keep that, uh, that four flights uh, integration in with the course and have your all your records, your logs all in one place there in four flight. Brett, thank you very much. What a great tutorial. Uh, and great context to some of those features that uh, we began um, the discussion about today. Just to recap, um, what, where, we're, where we're at, um, what we've discussed so far. Um, so we talked about the value and importance of a home study course. Hopefully that's most evident uh, now that we've explored in, in pretty good detail all of these features. Uh, but it's more than just, you know, acquiring it. it. It's about using it. You know, an investment like this will continue to pay dividends uh, the smarter you are with the resources, the more efficient you are with the resources. So to recap, uh, we talked about beginning with the video training. We talked about going start to finish to build that solid foundation. If I could include a 1A step and a 1B step, it would be don't forget about those assessments, those video review quizzes, which help reinforce all that great content you received in the video segments. And there's also the review notes, another uh, textual, a textual format, another way to review the key learning concepts in each of those review segments. Step number two, in terms of the one, two, three here, step number two would be to transition into that test prep mode. Uh, so we talked generally about the study mode as well as the testing mode. Um, there's some individual features you can, you know, choose to take advantage of in there, but uh, 2A, we said begin with the study sessions, build a history, um, let the LMS kind of work its magic and help guide you and tell you what areas of study uh, are needed, what you need to review, what you need to brush up on. Then move towards the testing mode within test prep. What we're ultimately looking to achieve is the, are those two uh, practice tests with at least an 80% score to make sure that you are going to be very successful on the actual FAA written test and also to receive the endorsement. And then step three, transition into what I will, the catch-all you know, term I will use is the flight resources. So this was Brett's exploration of the dedicated maneuvers guide, access to the airman certification standards. This would be kind of the post ground school phase. Um, so, you know, our kind of quick recommendation, complete the ground school portion, video training, test prep, complete your FAA written test. It will allow you to focus solely uh, on the flying portion, on transitioning into the airplane with your flight instructor, and that's when you will start taking advantage of those flight resources. So while you're in your flight training, you can use the indexing, you can use the search feature, you can use the table of contents to review the video segments that are pertinent, that are relevant uh, to what you have coming up in your next lesson. Doesn't matter what type of syllabus or whose syllabus is being used, but make sure there is a syllabus being used. 
uh, if you're at a flight school or working with an instructor and there's not a written plan of action, that is certainly a red flag. So make sure that is happening. And then just before the check ride, as you're wrapping everything up, as you're building towards this cumulative exam, which will consist of the oral portion and then the practical in airplane portion, we have the airman certification standards. That's the plan that the examiner will work from. We tie that back to the video assets that you can go back and view and review. And then we have this great exclusive collection of uh, checkride prep flashcards. These come from actual examiners in the field and what they are asking and the, and the responses they're expecting to hear. And you can go through and use these flashcards to make sure you're well prepped for that oral exam. So this is, again, a complete system guiding you start to finish. And not to mention, you can come back post-certification, preparing for flight reviews, just ongoing recurrent training. You continue to enjoy lifetime access to this system. Let me zoom out just a minute. Uh, zoom out a little bit outside the, the actual Learn to Fly course and make sure everyone's aware of a, a wonderful online resource, free resource produced by Sporties, and that's Sporty Student Pilot News. This is everything related to your pilot training journey. This is getting to know the aviation community a little bit well. Um, this is blogging so we can uh, share some, some triumphs and some tribulations that, that others have experienced. Remember, uh, you're not you know, going this alone. Uh, on occasion, the flight training journey um, can seem a little bit isolated because the, the, the nature of flight training is a lot of one-on-one -on -one with your instructor. But remember, there's been a lot of individuals that have come before you. There will be some that come after you. Uh, there are some that are kind of paralleling your journey. And at Sporty Student Pilot News, we try to bring all of that together uh, to kind of promote and, and, and share and just uh, make this a more enriching, more pleasurable uh, overall learning experience. Uh, Brett emphasized uh, this feature of, of being able to engage your individual flight instructor with what you're doing and how you are performing. Great idea there uh, to have that individual as an active participant, but there's not a limitation to just sharing this with a flight instructor. If you have other support resources, if you have a you know network of, of friends or family that are interested in what you're doing and how you're doing, you can always do that. If you're interested in some friendly competition, if you will, uh, with, with a peer or with someone else uh, in, in this journey alongside, you can also choose to uh, share your progress there as well to kind of keep tabs and, and help support each other ultimately. Uh, and also this uh, new for 2021, this, uh, th this wonderful Microsoft Flight Sim uh, integration piece, which is just exploding in popularity and can be uh, a very valuable resource if used correctly. So what we've done with this resource built into the Sporties Learn to Fly course is we've tried to make it a little more thoughtful, make it a little more meaningful in terms of study uh, so that you have actual missions to accomplish. Uh, each of those individual Microsoft Sim lessons comes with an objective. It comes with a, a detailed, well thought out scenario, individual tasks, goals, so you can, you know, hold yourself accountable. Uh, with that, uh, that concludes uh, the presentation and tutorial, behind the scenes look and demo of Sporties 2021 Learn to Fly course. Sporties.com slash courses for more information, also for a, a free demo so that you can get in and move around uh, throughout all the content just like Brett uh, did. You're welcome to do that um, if you're still evaluating your option. Again, a great time 2021 to be investing in a pilot training experience and, and hopefully we've given you the good background uh, and the good information so that you can make a, a smart decision in terms of those resources to help you along in the process. With that, we are going to bid farewell for Brett Kobe and the entire Sporties Pilot Shop team. My name's Eric Radke. Thanks for joining us. Uh, hope to see you at the airport very soon. Fly safe.